Howdy folks, uh, Seth Pollock here from SB Nation NBA and the NBA League Manager. Of course, Conrad Kazmarek. Did I get it right, Conrad? Kazmarek, close Kazmarek. enough. I mean, come on, that's a tough one, right? I think it's actually pronounced Kazmarek in the original, what is it, Polish? Polish. And, uh, and you guys have screwed it up since then. It's, it's definitely possible. It's possible? All right. Conrad uh, Kazmarek. Right, with uh, a few of the sword. So we're doing this little Google Hangout thing. We're going to talk about the Cavs. I'm just going to ask Conrad here some questions, season predictions uh, for, for the Cleveland season. Conrad, just jumping right in. Uh, how are you doing today, by the way? I'm doing well. Just got back from class. Doing well. I just got back from work. I rode my bike. A little sweaty, but I, we're all good. Good. So uh, how many how many games are the Cavs going to win this year? Jeez. Um, somewhere between 30 and 40. Um, oh, you got to do better than that. 36. All right. How about that? And where does that put them in the uh, in the East? Puts them like 10th. Um, I think there's a variety of outcomes. They could do better than that, and they could do significantly worse than that. But that's kind of the average of all those in my rough prediction that I just came up with right now. Is there any way that Kyrie Irving, aside from injury, that or, or like Meteor, that Kyrie or Mayan predictions, that Kyrie Irving isn't the MVP of the Cavs? No, not really. Unless, yeah, no. Yeah. Unless they trade for someone somehow, I don't know. Yeah, like uh, remote well, misses. No. no, I mean, yeah, he's. He's the best player in the cast. All right, who's the who's the co or the runner-up MVP? Anderson Verja. It's not particularly close, I don't think. Um, they were they were relatively competitive with him in the lineup last season. Um, they were, I think, ten and fourteen before he got hurt, and then they just were atrocious dumpster fire of a basketball team once he was off the court. So. Anderson Berger, I was just every, the defense, the energy, the like only veteran on the team. It's it. He's only, not as important as Kyrie, but he's pretty close. All right, I'll buy that. And what about X Factor? <laughs> you can pick in, just look at the roster. You can pick like any of the guys. You, other than those two, they're all relative unknowns. Um, I mean, Tristan Thompson, can he? play offense um, <clears throat> is Dion waiters good at basketball these were like there's fundamental questions about the Cavs <laughs> just because they're such a young team and have so many rookies and second year players that you could have any one of those guys emerge as a so-called X factor all right man and what's your uh, your biggest concern heading into the season biggest concern is probably just the adjustment by all these young players playing together. That they've never they're learning a new system on top of learning how to play with one another, and also adjusting to the speed of the NBA and the length of the season. It's just there's so many adjustments for these young players that they could be they could perform well under their actual abilities just if they become overwhelmed by one of these facets. It might not necessarily be such a terrible team as far as talent goes and actual ability, but when you consider that they're not used to playing 82 games or have being in such a strict system that Byron Scott runs, that could undermine the actual results. I got you. That's fair. Young team. Just all that general young team stuff. All right. And uh, who do you see coming out of the East and winning it all? The same answer everyone else has given me so far. Yeah, yeah, it's probably Miami. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, there's in the East, there's just no, there's no other answer. It's, yeah. Unless something happens to LeBron James, maybe he'll he quit again. That'd be crazy. We've never seen that before. <laughs> so pull a Michael and just retire in the middle of the season. Yeah, just, he'll just bad. quit. He'll just be like, yeah, my elbow's hurting me, and just just like elope with somebody's mother. Yeah, no, I mean, there's a, you know, just like I'm not, I'm not talking about anything specific. These are just like random ideas that are coming to mind. He could just, I don't know, just have an hour special and just, I don't know, decide to quit. 
Take your talents to baseball or hockey, maybe. Yeah. I can yeah. see them on the ice. All right. And uh, do you see anyone out of the West, Thunder, or the Lakers beating them in the finals? I think the Thunder can. I think they can. Um, I think the Lakers could too, although I would never admit that because – well, maybe I would because I don't like either of those teams. But I think I think the Thunder definitely can, and I think the health of Dwayne Wade over a 82 game season plus playoffs is a question. He's kind of getting old, um, and you're relatively certain that these young guys on the Thunder aren't going to break down because they're like 23 years old. So, and so yeah, I think. If, if something you, – you don't like to predict injuries. You don't like to base predictions based on injuries. But I don't – I think it would be naive to ignore that as a possibility for players that are getting older. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look what happened with Chicago. They were – I mean, lots of people picked them and come out of the East last year. So it happens. All right, yeah. man. Well, thanks. Any other Cavs-related stuff you want to just drop on people before we sign off here? Cavs-related stuff? You know, whatever. Um, not really. I just think people need to go out of their way to watch Kyrie Irving this year because he's not on national television. Yeah. Uh, or they have like one or two games on ESPN or something like that, which is just a crime in my mind because he's one of the easily top ten point guards probably by the end of the season, top five point guards in the league, and he's a, just awesome to watch. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't argue with that. I was so impressed with him last year. So. All right, man, it's fun catching up with you, fun chatting with you. I'm going to uh, hit the off button here, and we'll post this on uh, Fear the Sword, and uh, hopefully you guys do more of these with your, uh, you know, with your contributors, with your writers, with your readers. You know, you get Anderson on maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. All right, take care.